Hi, Margarita here. And the F word of today is fragrance. Of course it is. <laughs> and this is going to be about five fragrances that I sampled this week, niche and designer. The first fragrance on this list, I must admit, I am eating crow on this one. This is My Way by Armani. Now I smelled this when it first came out and I really wasn't impressed. And I think it was, it just smelled too common for me. And by common, I mean something that I've smelled before in a lot of people. It's very reminiscent of L'Interdit by uh, Givenchy. But this, now that I'm smelling it for the second time, several months later, I actually am thinking about buying a bottle. <laughs> I don't know what happened between then and now, but I don't know if my nose or my palate has changed, but I am very impressed with this scent. And it smells amazing. The notes are orange blossom, bergamot, tuberose, Indian jasmine, Madagascar vanilla, white musk, and Virginian cedar. Now these are notes that tend to play well on my skin, uh, white florals particularly. So that may be why all of a sudden I had a change of heart. I used this sample, I, I dried it up. <laughs> it's just so amazing. But I must admit that I love My Way by Armani. And I'm so glad that I got a chance to sample it again before I completely wrote it off. The second fragrance that I sampled this week was Cartier's Vicer Volet. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm pronouncing it today. Um, I got this with something that I purchased at Nordstrom. And a note from the brand is a pure floral, a lily reinventing the freshness of the leaves, the floral notes of the petals, and the powderiness of the flower's pistol. A stolen kiss for a moment of pure passion. Ooh. <laughs> the notes in it are lily, citruses, the uh, heart of it has more lily in the base, green lily, and green notes. This is a very green fragrance. When you smell it, you're gonna get kind of the stems of the florals. That's what, what's gonna be very prominent, at least to my nose, that's what it is. Very inoffensive. I would say a safe blind buy if you like this kind of scents that fade into the background. This is a very clean but expensive, I mean, it is a Cartier scent. I think it's timeless and it's something that you can wear anywhere without overpowering anyone in the room. And this is Cartier's Bicer Volet. The third fragrance I tried this week was Cartier's La Panthère. Now this one is a beast. I actually ended up having to scrub this off. I could not take the smell of it on my skin. Um, this is the Parfum version. They've got, I guess, a toilet or maybe a softer version, an O version, but this version right here was just too much for me. It comes off very mature smelling. Um, the notes are apricot, osmanthus, moss, gardenia, patchouli, and musk. Now, I'm not even gonna spray it <laughs> because I just can't take the smell. It's not a bad smell. It's just got the smell like, oh my God, who's, um, for lack of a better comparison, whose jazzy older aunt just walked in from church. <laughs> That's the best way I can compare it. If you like very strong, powerful scents, this is for you. Um, I do get the fruits, so it opens up very fruity, and I loved it in the opening, but that dry down was just a bit too much. But if you, now what I find funny, <laughs> it's called the Panther, or La Panther, and I could definitely see someone who would be classified as a cougar <laughs> wearing this fragrance. However, it is, it's not for me, but it's a beautiful scent. I can appreciate the craftsmanship of shift. The craftsmanship <laughs> of this. And uh, this is uh, a Cartier creation, so you know it's gonna be good and high quality. The fourth fragrance I tried this week is 19 March by Tiziana Terenzi. I was talking to the sales associate in Neiman's and I was just fascinated by the display. I love going in there and just smelling the fragrances because Tiziana Terenzi is one of my favorite fragrance houses. They just have such great presentation. I'm all about presentation. <laughs> um, but this one surprised me because a lot of times the bottle presentation, I'll uh, put a picture of the bottle up on this one, on the screen so you can see what it looks like. It looks very masculine. It's a dark colored bottle and it's just kind of like, mm, you know, it's heavy looking, but it just didn't say, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I am woman, hear me roar. And I typically like fragrances that uh, have some type of feminine element. But I was so pleasantly surprised by this when I put it on my skin. Uh, the notes are green leaves, nettle, mint, orange, lavender, jasmine, clove, cinnamon, rosemary, vetiver, musk, sandalwood, nutmeg, and cedar. So this is a very spicy, woody scent. Now, woodiness 
works very well with my body chemistry, especially cedars and sandalwoods, both of which are in the base. But the top, the mint in the top, it just spoke to me and it told me a whole lot. <laughs> and it just was, it was like, just ride with me, wait it out to the end. I loved every moment of this fragrance and I am strongly considering going back to get it. Um, even on the card. Now this was several days ago that I got this and the card is still very strong that uh, you can still smell the scent very prominently. Now what's interesting is it's got this DNA. Anyone who knows Tiziana Terenzi, they have a certain DNA in most of their fragrances that you can just kind of tell like, yeah, oh, Paolo made that. Now Paolo is the other uh, perfumer of the brand, Paolo Terenzi. But this is 19 March by Tiziana Terenzi. Last but not least, number five, we have Draco, also by Tiziana Terenzi. Something about this house. So the notes in this one are bergamot, lemon, orange, green notes, peach, magnolia, jasmine, cedar, patchouli, musk, pear, vanilla, tonka bean, and heliotrope. I don't know how I am again yet tardy to this party as well. Tonka and vanilla, how did I not know I was gonna love it upon instant smelling? Those are two notes that really can make a fragrance go very gourmand. And I love a good gourmand fragrance. But the fruitiness, it just, it's a juicy gourmand fragrance. I don't know how they managed to do that. But you can actually smell most of the notes just playing well, like children on the playground, just having a wonderful time singing and dancing in the sunset. Um, this scent also, when I put it on skin, it just spoke to me. The fruitiness latched on and it lasts all the way into the dry down, even though there aren't that many fruity notes listed in the dry down. Um, Tiziana Terenzi has a tendency of making uh, wonderful compositions that are extract the parfum uh, concentration. So they have a higher oil content, so they stick with you longer. The quality is amazing and the bottle is beautiful. I'll put a picture up of the bottle of this as well. But uh, between this one and the 19 March, I don't know which one I like more, but I keep keep coming to this one. Uh, so I might like Draco more, I'm not quite sure, but I am so, so happy that I had the opportunity to experience this. Well, that concludes the five samples that I got this week. Um, let me know what you got this week. If you tried or smelled anything that's really cool that you'd like to share. Have you experienced anything by the Armani fragrance line or by Tiziana Terenzi or by Cartier? Let me know how they work with your chemistry. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe also. We talk about fitness, fragrance, fashion, fun, food, femininity, falsetto, AKA music, and lots of other wonderful F words because all F words are not bad. But until next time, I am Margarita and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.